Hey guys, this is Full Gaming Instincts here, and welcome to tutorial 4 on how to create a zombie first person shooter game in Unity. So, for those persons who are new, uh, I recommend you go and view my previous tutorial and so then come to this one so you'll be more organized in making your game. Now, for those persons who have been following, you'll know that today I'll be showing you guys how you can make a main menu. Yes, a main menu, but we'll be making the main menu using the GUI. And I've decided to uh, show you guys how you can make the load menu as well because it's very simple. It's just some uh, drag and drop of some prefabs into your game, and that's pretty much that. So let's get down to it. First off, you need to check for the link in the description below and download the package and import it into your project. Uh, after you're finished doing that, good stuff, you'll have a tutorial full folder within that folder we have the GUI skin uh, prefab and uh, the scripts now uh, I'll explain this stuff in a bit let's just go and uh, get these two uh, menus up and running what we'll need to do is just uh, uh, let me just uh, tell you guys uh, firsthand uh, if you guys are thinking of actually making a main menu using the 3D text that'll be you guys can use that but uh, I'm just showing you guys the GUI buttons so you guys can actually choose between the two which one you want to use to create your game so do keep that much in mind so let's get down to it just go here to files and we'll just hit new scene and we'll just save the scene as a uh, main menu GUI good stuff and we'll go and we'll save we'll create a new scene sorry and we'll save the new scene as a load menu GUI good stuff and alright let's let's deal with this one first what we'll do we'll select our main camera we'll press F to focus in on it we'll need to rotate and get a nice front view good stuff and we'll just right click and we'll go down to 3D objects and we'll create a cube just like we did for our main menu we'll just average uh, when it's almost to the center and we'll just scale it out on it, the X axis and then we'll scale, scale it out on the Y axis as well we'll just rename this pretty quickly as a uh, background alright for some reason that one there all right, good stuff. And uh, we'll just rotate it to 180. Then we'll go to a tutorial one folder, and we'll take the material, and we'll just drag it onto the cube. Good stuff. Now you can leave the collider enabled when you, whenever you're using the GUI button. It doesn't really matter. That's basically because the uh, GUI button doesn't really deal with any Z position. It just uh, stays in the on a default uh, position on the uh, Z axis so just just keep that in mind the scene look, seems to be a bit dark so we'll just put a light in there I showed you guys I can do that as well good, so I'll just right click and go down to lights and directional light good stuff now uh, after we're done there all we need to do is just go to a pre ball and we'll take the load menu and just drag it in there and that's it if you guys want uh, music like and uh, music for the menu you can just go here at component and uh, you can basically uh, just go to the uh, tutorial one folder go to the audio you can import your audios in your game you can just drag it here good stuff and if we hit play you'll notice that uh, we are at our load menu we have the GUI uh, button and uh, if we hit back it's gonna go to the uh, well it's at our splash screen right now so we'll need to set it up but anyways you can see that it's actually working good stuff now what we need to do is uh, go to our main menu GUI just save this one if it asks you to save it and just select our main camera press F to focus in on it you'll need to get a front view if you haven't already and we'll just right click we'll go down to 3d objects and we'll create a cube we'll just drag this out and then we'll scale it on the x axis and then we'll scale it on the y axis and then we'll go and we'll rename it as background once again 
Now, here's what I'll do. I'll actually, let me just go to the uh, load menu, GUI, and here's what I'll do. I'll show you guys what exactly is a prefab. Now, for those persons who are new and you have no idea what exactly is a prefab, you just hear me uh, mentioning it. We'll just uh, go right here to our prefabs folder, we'll uh, right click create and we'll go down to prefab and we'll just rename this as background. Oh, good stuff. And what we'll do, we'll just take the game object that we have here as our background in our hierarchy and we'll just drag it onto the background prefab which we just created and that's pretty much that. Now what we'll do, we'll go to our main menu GUI now and we'll delete this one and we'll take the background in which we just created and we'll drag it in there so what a prefab basically is it's actually a game object that you already created but it's basically you're just saving that game object and all of the components attached to the game object that's basically what a prefab does so let's say you are uh, you created the cube and you scaled it down, rotate it and stuff like that and then for some reason uh, Unity just, well your computer shuts down or something along, along the line or Unity uh, closes down or something and when you come back into Unity your scene is gone. The prefab is very, uh, very important, it's very useful because all you need to do is just take the prefab of the game object or the entire scene and just drag it back into your uh, game and you're basically back on track you haven't lost anything whatsoever so that's what basically what a prefab is a prefab is an actual object in which saves all the components attached to the object that you had in your hierarchy so it's it's very useful so yeah that's pretty much that so we can just go and put a light in there and all we need to do now is just take the main menu uh, prefab and just drag it in there good stuff as you can see I already had the script and so forth with the GUI skin and the color and stuff like that that's what I'm talking about in terms of when I say uh, a prefab alright everything already set up we don't need to write the scripts or anything we don't need to drag and drop the scripts or anything we just drag the prefab into our game because all the components are already attached to the, the prefab so we'll just go here and add a uh, component of audio audio source and yeah that's pretty much that so if you guys are interested in using the uh, the GUI button as your main menu your load menu you guys can do so alright it's gonna load alright we need to set up these scripts that's the last thing we need to do so we'll just go open up our scripts in Mono develop alright you guys can open it up I already have it opened up already so all we need to do now is just go to where it says level 1 all right where it says application dot load level for this level one here all right and we'll go to our build settings and we'll check and see where exactly our level one is and our level one is at three so this is right this is correct good stuff so we'll just go and we'll check and see where our back is and our back is at one and our main menu is at one good stuff so all we need to do is basically just delete our main menu and just take the main menu GUI and just track it where our main menu was at just now and we'll delete our load menu and we'll just drag the load menu GUI in exactly where we deleted the previous one from and all we need to do now is just uh, go to the main menu just hit play and uh, it loads the uh, first level so I'll just go to the splash screen and show you guys that everything is working out just fine good stuff we just hit play and uh, yes welcome to our splash screen our logos are being displayed and it waits for the amount of seconds in which we set up in our script and it plays it displays the all the logos good stuff and it plays the audio and yeah we're at our main menu using the GUI button and we hit 
start and it goes to the level one now do know that the quit won't work that's basically because as i told you guys the game hasn't been built yet so it won't quit the game all right good stop so yeah that's pretty much it guys for this tour hope you guys uh you guys like it if you do you can give me a thumbs up uh do remember to subscribe keep yourself up to date with my channel and in the next tour i'll be showing you guys how you can actually uh go about creating your level so by now i'm assuming that some of you guys already have your ideas uh set up already as to how exactly you want your level to look because in the next tour we'll be going into creating our level so that's where the good stuff's gonna happen i know a lot of persons are anxious to get down to that point in the game and we will be getting down to that point in the game in the next tutorial so yeah once again hope you guys like this tutorial if you do you can give me a thumbs up do remember to subscribe keep yourself up to date with my tutorial series on how to create a zombie first person shooter game in unity so until next time continue making games guys peace